Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what are you doing? It is your girl. Let me stop. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Welcome to Sagittarius Sun if the crown fits. Let's see what messages Spirit got for you guys today. Oh, she left. Let me love you too. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, something has came to a complete halt. All right, you have the lovers in the reverse. I feel like someone here has made a head over heart decision. Oh, cherry and justice. This person could be going toward a Cancer or a Libra, or they could be going toward what's right. Going to get their justice here after like sitting back and not doing anything. Someone could be speaking up, page one, or wanting to send a message. Yeah, five of cups after going through a loss. All right, the four of swords is here. Yeah, the four of swords is here. So maybe this person's been doing some healing. Or someone's health could be bad. Mm, ten of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, this person has had to heal from a Ten of Swords. They've definitely been watching you on their phone some type of way. Okay, with this Ten of Swords right here. They've been watching you um, as this person's been healing. And they're being guided to come towards you. But this person has to find the confidence with the, with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Cups, boo-boo. Oh, my God. The Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups. What's behind that? Seven of Pentacles and Death. The Queen of Wands. Six of Wands. Eight of Wands. So, whatever this person invested in, it came to an end. Like I said, this is someone who has been healing. I don't know what happened to them, but it was some type of betrayal. And I feel like your love is helping this person in a time where they didn't see how they were going to come out of whatever they're going through could be a leo with the sun but that's a yes card your love is definitely helping whoever this is let me grab some love notes because i feel like something significant gonna come out okay Sometimes I feel like you want too much from me. And they landed on top of the Ace of Cups. So what this person is saying is basically, how could you love me after, how could you still love me after what I did? And you know, they could have chosen another lover over you, but that didn't go anywhere, okay? Sometimes I think you can be a little controlling and that pushes me away, okay? Honestly, I didn't want to be in a relationship True love is hard to find, but I found it with you. You make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies whenever we talk. My twin flame, my love. We need to talk about everything. I am ready to take off my mask and be real with you. Please forgive me. I wanted to play the field. This is why I grabbed this deck. I wanted to play the field. And now look where it got me. Nowhere. So they played the field and got hurt. And now they want a twin flame. And you know what this, also what I'm getting with this, sometimes I feel like you want too much from me is when twin flames meet the other twin mirror, you know, they marry each other. And so if this person had any, Low vibrational energy in them. That's what they saw. They didn't see you. Okay. And it made them run. What did it say? I feel like you want too much from me and it pushes me away. They were running from themselves. So they ran toward a connection that didn't challenge them. By them doing that, gave them their ten of swords. Okay. It says everything will be all right. Please trust me. I know I keep giving you mixed signals. I know I can be hot and I can be cold. I can't stop thinking about you. You are always in my dreams. And I hear a million voices in my head telling me the things that I should have said. This is hard for me. I'm struggling. 
okay so this is someone who knows you're their true love they know you're their twin flame but maybe this person um is scared of commitment maybe they're scared to be vulnerable something is hard for this person but that four swords is to, it's like hold up wait a minute i gotta slow down because they that ten of swords was heavy you know and it could have been a few different people that did it to them as long as you run away from yourself you're gonna run into a wall a brick wall head first every single time which is why on this four of swords this person is sitting here holding their head like okay i gotta stop i gotta slow down it's too much okay but what they say they know you're their true love um you're their twin flame and there's a lot of things that this person wish they had told you but this person has to work through their fears you do have some people who you know fear being vulnerable um but again this person has ran as long as they could they they you show up in this person's dreams every night and it's because spirit six of swords spirit's definitely guiding this person to do the right thing it's up to them though you know we all have free will but uh i feel like somebody has made a choice here okay it says i've been thinking about how to fix things between us okay parts of me are broken and i'm afraid that i might hurt you if i show you them so yeah this is somebody who needed to heal maybe they had some childhood wounds what's this you are the one that I've been looking for my whole life. There's something about the way you love. Okay? You know, this person, like I said, you mirrored to them some things that they didn't want to see. It's not easy to self-reflect. It's much easier to trauma bond with people. It's much easier to project. Um, they could have thought that you were judging them, but they were judging you. 717 on the phone. But I feel like something has set this person down. Could be some health issues. Uh, something had to sit them down, though. Spirit had to sit them down. And while they've been sitting, they've definitely been dreaming about you. Can't stop thinking about you because they know the truth. This person knows the truth. And they said, you are what I've been looking for my whole life. But, again, we have free will. It's up to this person. What will they do? You know? So I do feel they want a connection with you, but this is somebody who's been so used to getting in those um, low vibrational connections. And sometimes people don't know how low vibrational they are until someone divine walks into their life. And I said this in another reading on my other channel. Um, that's what you're here to do. Balance out the light and the dark. 818 on the phone. So you coming into this person's life, it shook up some shit. And they ran from it. You always get a runner and a chaser, right? They ran. Um, and that could have been what? You could have stopped, okay. Love is in reverse, not, you could have stopped chasing it. And they didn't feel you anymore. And they run into a brick wall. By the time they look back, ain't nobody chasing their ass. Okay. That could be with this chair. It wasn't. I was just running, running, running. Holding up this sword. Being very defensive. Okay. The person got to heal some fears. Some deep-seated fears. And some abandonment issues with this person. Maybe they didn't have a mother or a father to be present. The Eight of Wands is in the reverse. Okay. So, right now, I don't feel like there's any communication between the two. Not only physical. There's lots of spiritual communication. Yep. That's what I'm getting with the Ace of Cups. There's no physical communication, but lots of spiritual. The Ace of Cups is out here twice. I do feel like you still love this person. I just saw the Ace of Swords with the Ten of Wands. So, yes, you guys are heavily communicating in the spiritual realm. Like that card said, they can't stop thinking about you. You're always in this person's dreams. And that's because spirit is trying to get this person to slow down and look at their life. You're not 20 anymore. And even if you are, your soul isn't. There's things you have to do here on earth. Especially if you're a twin flame. And you're running your life in the ground. Mm -mm, it's, it's time out for that, okay? 
Yeah, somebody's definitely supposed to be in the spotlight with the six of wands here. They're supposed to be helping other people. Um, but they first got to heal themselves. Okay, so now you got this hermit card. I do, I feel like that's where they at right now in hermit mode. Doing a lot of self-reflecting. Oh, yeah. So that's a good thing. All right, so you have the high priestess. Person could be watching readings also. I feel like these. Okay, so you need to slow down on the readings because somebody's getting a little bit confused. They know the truth, but they are confused on the whole. Like, okay. They know you are their twin flame. They know you're their true love, but there's something confusing about. The twin flame journey itself for this person and also what i'm getting here is somebody's like can i be myself can i open up and be my true authentic self with this person and i feel like spirit is telling them that they can see this is somebody that gets into those connections where it's very surface they don't have to dig deep with you it's the opposite it's like this is why there's no physical communication because when you when you look at this person, you don't see you don't see them, you see through them, and that scares this person. It's they cannot hide it from you. They can walk around being strong and cocky to other people, other superficial people. They cannot do that with you because y'all know each other on a soul level. And it's very hard, okay? So with the Ace of Wands, this person probably, I do feel like they want a new beginning. I do feel that this person's very passionate about you. I just saw the Ace of Swords again. So somebody wants, yeah, they want to close out this cycle, balance out this connection and come from out of the cold with you, but somebody doesn't know how. And I feel like they need to come out of the King of Pentacle energy being very stubborn and get into like a, a King of Cups energy. But they need to know that they can trust you. But the problem here is it wasn't that they couldn't trust you. This person don't trust they self. They don't. And so they project. Yeah, somebody has been holding on to a bunch of pain. There's a lot of deep, deep pain here. But see, you're the type of person and no, it's not your responsibility to heal this person, but you can nurture them through it show them how to do it where they've been running to just adding more and more and more pain i never understood how people thought yeah two of cups i never understood how people thought that running from real love that they would somehow find happiness how did you think running from your true love into whatever you ran into that this ten of swords wasn't going to happen. That's how I'm surprised that they don't think that it would happen. You're running. What they say? You are you're the one I've been looking for my whole life. Yet you ran from this person. What did you think was going to happen? That's where I'm at with it. What do these people think going to happen? Okay, so now with the five of swords in the reverse, somebody is trying to figure out how to come to some type of solution. And I feel like they don't want to fight you off anymore. So Spirit's going to give this person some type of guidance because they just don't see the way to fix it. What that card say? I've been thinking about how to fix this between us. They don't see how to fix it. They want to fix it. They want a brand new beginning. I feel like what's standing in between y'all is this person being able to trust themselves enough to be vulnerable with you. You have to be vulnerable, man. Okay, so you got judgment. I told you. I told. What did I say? Come out of the King of Pentacles. And get in this king of cups be a little bit more compassionate and reveal what's going on within you okay because there's a lot going on within this person there is it's a lot going on that keeps them from taking the real ace of cups and they run into the third parties they want to go out and sleep with people who just there's no meaning there after they after they have sex there ain't nothing okay So we have the Six of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. I do feel like this person breadcrumbed you with a third party. Okay, and then they end up getting betrayed. I mean, it plays out like that 
every single time. But I feel like what spirit is saying, and you know, I'm, that's what I'm picking up with the Six of Pentacles. Just take it slow. You ain't gotta dump everything on this person. Get to know them, not just for the physical. Because whoever this is, y'all can, y'all will realize that, and maybe y'all already know that y'all can get lost in each other. Y'all can just sit up and talk for hours and hours about things. Shit gets real deep. But this person is has been afraid to allow them to go deep. These ace of cups out here twice. You see how deep it is overflowing. Love runneth over. I do feel like y'all gonna come together. Okay. What's that? Knight of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Ace of Swords just keep showing up. So they might feel that they need to come in and tell you how they got into a connection with someone else and got betrayed, possibly with a Libra or um, Cancer. They got hurt, but maybe they were only focused on the superficial. So King and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, now Spirit is telling them to get in this connection where it's it's all about love. Yeah, they, they tend to source the Queen of Cups to get with a Queen of Pentacles. And that Queen of Pentacles was either a Libra or a Cancer. But that Queen of Pentacles tend to source them. And so now these two people need to come together. Okay? Yeah, somebody bringing their love off. Or accept it, you know. Person could be sitting in their pride and ego. Or it could have been in the past. And that this pride and ego is what led them to this other connection. It was real superficial, y'all. Real superficial. Okay? Um, and they do they do have regrets, I'm sure. Justice with the moon. They want to bring justice, but there's fear. Somebody really does fear being vulnerable with you. So that's why Spirit's saying, you know, take it slow. You ain't got to do everything all at once. Okay? But you're going to have to learn something new here. You're not a fucking kid. You're not a teenager. You are an adult. It's time to have an adult-ass life. It's time to be stable on the inside. We're not talking about, oh, you got a nice home, nice car, and money in the bank. But you walking around in the three of swords. You walking around broken on the inside. As above, so below. What's going on on the inside is going to eventually reflect on the out. And so because this person was broken on the inside... They are in the Ten of Swords on the out. So they really do need to come towards you. Some things that this person's going to learn from you. But it's really just be open, be vulnerable, and, and healing each other. Y'all have the power through sex, I'm hearing. Wow. Okay. Conversation and sex is very healing between these two people. And maybe this person was in denial because you look very different. You know, twin flames are very different from your regular soulmates. Huh? The twin flame pushes you to, they challenge you to be a better version of yourself. And there's something going to be different about that person. If you're used to dating six foot three people, the twin flame is going to be five foot three or some shit like that. There's going to be a difference. Okay? Um... So, whoever this is has to learn a lot. <sighs> okay. Time alone. Yep. That was an interference. That was an interference. I do feel like, see, trust. It's safe for you to trust in this situation. Some distance will help bring the clarity. Yeah. They had to go through this. And that's where people get caught up. Once they done went, they done did the betrayal. Then they got betrayed. Then they get stuck in that pride and ego, which is really a mask for the regret that they feel and the, and the embarrassment and the ashamedness. I know that's not a word, but just take it. When you just need to learn how to look at this from a different perspective, like, you know, be grateful that you learned this lesson so you don't have to go and repeat it again. You actually get to close out this cycle and go towards real happiness. Not many people on this God green earth can say they have experienced true love. Think about all the people that you know around you that are in a relationship. 
if you ask them, hey, why you with your person? Man, she got a big ass booty, man. I just love hugging on that booty at night. Or you hear some dumb shit. Man, she got a good ass job. She got good credit. But you know, I still got my little side chick over there. Or, oh shit, man, we've been together so long, you might well go on and do it, man. Or, man, I got too much to lose. We got a big ass house, got about four, five cars. Shit, got about 12 chilling. How many of them motherfuckers are gonna tell you that it's true love? This is true love. Huh? Had to let go of them damn addictions. Whatever the hell this person was addicted to. A lot of them was addicted to trauma bonding with folk. See, this person started judging you thinking that you were better than them because you reflecting to them their brokenness, which is why that car came out. You expect too much from me. What? No, I expect you to be a man or a woman and be honest with how you feel. Now, if that's expecting too much, then yeah, you need to move on to the side. But that's just being mature, being, a, being an adult about the situation. Okay, so everything will unfold in divine timing. Okay, the attraction that you feel is mutual, right? You were protected from this person because they was only looking for this right here, which is why they ran over there. What did they say? They wanted to play the field. Okay, so you were being protected. This person blocking communication, eight of ones in the reverse, was divinely guided. Okay, but. It's time to make a decision about the connection. Because like I said, we all have free will. This person sees the truth, knows the truth, feels the truth. It's undeniable. They need to put away the, the uh, computer and stop watching you. Because like I said, they're watching you on their phone or a laptop or something. Spirit says that they have mastered the spiritual lesson. They're longing for this person. They want forgiveness and a second chance. Because in the past, they were on two different pages. Because this per person was broken, old wounds and childhood issues needed revisiting. They gave in, instead of giving into healing and giving into the Queen of Cups, they gave in to their obsessions. So y'all were on different pages in the past. But somebody has mastered the spiritual lesson and this relationship deserves a second chance. Okay, but somebody gotta get up. They gotta choose to get up and ask for this forgiveness. Uh, with the, both the King and Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups coming out here twice, but and the Two of Cups, like both of these people still have a lot of love for each other. There's just no physical communication. There's a lot of spiritual communication. You showing up in this person's dreams constantly, and they probably showing up in your dreams constantly. Whoever it is that needs the awakening. I know when I first went on my twin flame journey, I couldn't stop thinking, uh, dreaming about my twin. He would show up. I would have dreams about being in Walmart. He would be at, at the end of every aisle. He wouldn't do nothing but just stand there with his arms crossed. And he was like a fucking giant. Okay. I would have dreamed. I had a dream probably about a month ago about us being at the damn train station. Um, But at the beginning of the Twin Flame journey, I and I even texted him. I'm like, bro, I ain't never had a dream about no man. Ever. What is going on? And maybe he thought I was lying or I don't know what the fuck. But I hadn't. I had not ever. And I had done been in love before. At least I thought I had. And I was way more attracted to that particular person that I thought I was in love with than I was my twin. My twin was not my type. My twin was very attractive. And I was attracted to him. But that was not my normal type of guy. You see what I'm saying? So that's how it be. But I kept on dreaming about this fool, well, man. We'd be at the park. We'd be having fucking picnics. We'd be talking about things that we have to do on the physical in my dreams. But there was no communication on the physical. So I was like, and I was going crazy because we were not talking. I was like, and it sent me to the computer. And that could be what spirit is saying. It sent me looking for information. I told you this person's getting readings. Because they're trying to understand the twin flame of it. Which is what I did at the beginning. Okay, so this makes sense. Okay, okay. Baby, that's why Spirit say put the computer away. When I could not talk to him, I was like, am I fucking going crazy? Or what is going on? And that's how I was led to YouTube. First it was Facebook. I found some... Because not... 
that was not just one thing that was going on. I was also seeing 11, 11, 2, 2, 2. I was also uh, being very sensitive and having a lot of dreams, downloads. Be like my entire awakening, everything was going on at once, y'all, in 2019. And I thought I was losing my fucking mind. I just thought I was losing my mind. So it led me to go do a research. So I started getting readings. Um, with the Facebook, found this little empath group, like it was just a lot. And I feel like this is what your person doing, which is what I said with this call. I said they're getting readings. They might be getting confused or whatever. They already know the truth. They themselves need to talk. These readings, especially if they fuck around and, and get a reading from a um child. I would say this. People who are on the twin flame journey, nobody can really tell you about your journey but yourself. Because the two of you guys communicate through your dreams. So another reader is not going to be able. The only thing the reader can do is confirm what you already feel. If they're not confirming it, then, then that's not that's not your story. It's not your reading. I feel like your person could be getting confused. Like, what the fuck is going on? And they're doing a lot of research. Um, when this person does come back, they will have a lot of information. Um, eh. Wow. So just imagine whatever you went through at the beginning of your at the beginning of your journey is what the, what they're going through. Okay? Wow. They're definitely longing for you. But with that play hard, yes. Don't go toward this person. Let this person come toward you. And they will. Trust me. They will. Y'all, it, it was to a point to where I felt like I could not be without that person. All I wanted to do was be next to them. And that's when I had that out-of-body experience. I don't know. Uh, well, I told it on my other channel. My twin, his higher self, came and laid with me on the couch. Like, spooned me, y'all. And I'm standing outside of my body and I'm looking at it. Like, I know y'all think I'm crazy. I thought I was crazy, too. That's why I went to research. I'm talking about I was doing baby. I was like, something going on. I was telling my family and friends what I was going through. Everybody thought I was fucking crazy. I thought I was crazy for a minute. Listen, this person going through that poke thing, it's going to get to a point to where that, that, that longing, that yearning, they're not going to be able to handle it no more. They're going to have to at least come to you and talk about it. What did that card say? We need to talk about everything. Because they've been looking up every damn thing. <laughs> I like this reading, though. That's what's up. Okay, baby. That's what's up, Sage. So anyway, that's what's going on. Some of y'all could be dealing with um, Libras, Cancers, Gemini, Virgos, Sagittarius. I'm only looking at what cards I have out here. Got water. Yeah, with the King and Queen of Cups. But that's you and this person. Pisces. Leo, Earth, and Fire. That damn near everybody, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So, baby. Get ready, get ready. They gonna come through. Because they gonna want to know. Yes. Oh, my God. The Sun, the Empress, and the Emperor. That's the Queen of Cups, King of Cups. And you had old third party interfere. But they couldn't have interfered at least unless one of these people let them. So that King of Cups, that Emperor, probably let this third party interfere because they was running from their higher self, child. Thought they was running from this interest, but they was running from themselves. But the const the only thing that was constant with this person was their damn self. So they had to eventually heal. This is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay? And and they could keep running towards th third parties. Once this person has awakened to who you are, nothing and no one will be able to satisfy this person's needs because it's not gonna be on a physical level anymore. It's gonna be on a soul level. That's why I was getting um Y'all, sex is going to be very healing, and so will y'all conversations. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Some of y'all can be dealing with a Capricorn, too. Okay? Baby. 
That what I have. Sag, man, listen. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Both of them. Aquarius, Leo, energy. That's going to be very significant the way that shit flew out there like that. Somebody can have a North Node in Leo or a North Node in Aquarius or vice versa. Take how it resonates, child. All right. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye.